Wheeling history and creative impressions are going to give you some new insights into some historical wheeling images. Here is some uh, flood footage from the 1936 flood, which was the worst in Wheeling's history. And uh, this is the, I, I think the northern part of the island uh, that you're seeing. And uh, boy, look at the devastation. I mean, some of these houses were actually lifted off their foundation and smashed into the house next door. You know, it's just uh, unbelievable. The, uh, the, you know, and I heard from someone older that, um, some of our hills around here are much bigger because of the when they hauled away all of the debris uh, and they would put it like in one place you know it, it made the hills and then they would cover it with dirt and it just made the hills bigger i think this right here is the uh the train bridge that goes that went over from wheeling to martin's ferry um I think up on this northern end, there was uh, like a tabernacle uh, from a, uh, an evangelist named Billy Sunday. And that tabernacle broke loose and floated down the Ohio River. But everybody's out there cleaning up right after it happened. This is probably like a next day or something. Uh, but you still do see flood water later on in this film. Um, in some places. And, and this film eventually goes over to, uh, to Wheeling. And it crosses the, uh, the uh, steel bridge. And you can see the railing as they go over to Wheeling. Wow. This was, a, this was the worst one. I think it was 55 feet. Well, I wish some people out there could recognize the, uh, the places. I, I knew it started out on the north end, though. <laughs> and of course, back then, film wasn't as good as it is now. And it's, some of this is hard to see, but... Uh, it sure is worth looking at. Now, th this looks like this is the stadium. The wall looks collapsed. Um, wow. You see a little bit of wheeling on that one. Now that's, this is right off the suspension bridge and there was a boulevard right down the center of the street with trees. This is probably gonna go over and show that little gas station that was there. Uh, yeah, I think this might be Vir Virginia.
just hard to believe. And, and the island went through this every year. Of course, this was the worst one, but people that lived over there went through this every year. Wow, it looks like it's gonna tip over. Can you imagine the cleanup? I think that bridge behind there might be the, uh, the steel bridge. Look at that. So you don't know if those houses were savable. They might have been with the porch just gone. There's that little gas station right off the suspension bridge. Those houses eventually came down. There were some beautiful homes over there. Here's a mail pouch thermometer. I think every grocery store had one. This store had ice cream, beer, and baked ham. Now, someone might recognize these. They look pretty happy, although uh, after what they've been through. Well, that house looks nice. Not too much damage. My aunt lived on the island, and uh, I never saw her without an apron. She cooked all day long. Mm, that looks like wheeling. There's the suspension bridge and the steel bridge. Wow. There's Virginia Street again.
Uh, they're going over to Wheeling, and that's the um, the railing on the steel bridge. And you know, even today, if you go down that alley next to the mall building, you can see that railing kind of blocking off the street. It's still there. I don't think there's too much in Wheeling. Once they get over there, um, it, it, I th this uh, footage ends. Windsor Hotel and the bank that was next door to it. It's like a corner doorway. It's just amazing how many stores and businesses uh, back in those days. It was great. You could see the YMCA top right there. And then, uh, yeah, so that must be the Market Street bridge area. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, um, and if you like what we're doing, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please visit our website at wheelinghistory.net. We have 10 books related to Wheeling history, and we have a 12-page flood supplement from the 1936 flood. Thank you very much.